Hi everyone, it's Bradley here from FGBFK Productions, and instead of doing like a movie update, I'm going to be doing a response video to the thank you video that Ninja Sex Party put up um, a couple weeks back before Attitude said uh, release. And so this is sort of my response to it, and personally myself thanking Danny and Brian for what they've done. So um, I'll begin with how I discovered NSP. Um, I was in my junior year of high school, which I graduated high school this year, and I was going through a lot at the time. I was going through a lot of trauma. I was having PTSD of a lot of bad things that happened in my life, and I hadn't gotten the proper help that I needed for that, which was sort of my fault because I just didn't want anyone to worry about me. Um, and so I was sort of, oh, excuse me. Um, I was sort of like having this phase where like I was wanting to like relive my childhood that I never got to live because of abuse and stuff that I was put through, which is what I was having PTSD to was physical and mental abuse. Um, and it was just a really bad time. And so I looked up Super Mario Sunshine because I wanted to see if like I remembered the game as much as I did when I was playing it at the chance that I got to play it. And so um, I looked it up and I saw Game Grumps which, of course, was when Danny was on the show, because I did not discover them until Danny joined. Um, and, of course, I went back and watched all the stuff with John. But um, I, I didn't know uh, who Danny was. I thought he was a really cool guy. I thought he was really funny. And so I wanted to see where he came from. So I saw the link to his channel, Ninja Sex Party. And um, I remember the first song I listened to them. Uh, I, the first song I listened by that they uh, made was um, If We Were Gay. And that's that's still one of, along with Dragon Slayer. That's like one of my favorite uh, Ninja Sex Party songs of all time. Um, and I remember laughing really loud at the list of things that Brian likes to suck, and it made it just made me really happy. I mean, for once, it felt like the tears had like stopped rolling, and they just they just stayed there. They they didn't want to form at all. Um, and so this sort of um, gave me the idea of you know, hey. If they can write songs like that, then I can write, you know, I can write songs. Like, I can write, like, songs about, like, stuff that I love, like, like comedy songs, like, about Doctor Who, you know, Supernatural, based on, like, puns and stuff and whatnot, which is basically my life anyway. Um, and so, it wasn't until about, um, Wind Waker, episode 19, where I learned that Danny went through a lot of the stuff you know, not what, like what I went through, but he that he suffered depression and all this stuff, and I was absolutely in tears, and I, I don't know why, like, I felt this connection to someone that I didn't know, which was my first, like, let's player, like, experience, I guess, because you would never think that someone who's just so happy, I guess, which sort of goes for any comedian or anyone, you would never know that somebody would be suffering through that kind of stuff. Um, so, and I learned more about Brian, Ninja Brian, and he's not just some mass murderer. He's a theoretical physicist. Um, he was a professor and a very, very kind father to his daughter, Audrey. Um, so I just want to take this opportunity um, to say thank you to both Danny and Brian for all that you've done for me the inspiration you've given me um <sighs> I mean I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now if it weren't for you guys and just <sighs> uh, I'm a man uh. <laughs> and just thank you so much for everything I hope that I can somehow meet you guys because That'd be amazing. I mean, I never thought that alone that I would just have, you know, an actual autograph from you guys, but I, I do, and that's just the greatest thing right now. Um, but thank you for the positive impact that you've had on my life. You guys are awesome, and I love you both. <laughs> um, so, 